We talk a lot about Galamse, isn't it? And um, we're going to go back to the 2020 election campaign. And uh, we already showed you a little bit of President Mahama speaking on the campaign about uh, the Galamse matter. And we're going to show you uh, where he differed from President Akufuado during the campaign. We're going to show you Akufuado's campaign in 2020, what he said about Galamse and, and President Mahama's campaign in 2020. Galamse is obviously a heartbreaker for all of us, but it's a, it's a matter that confronts us in a very big way. It's like rural urban migration. Um, how do you cure rural urban migration? Do you uh, put police at the new plant station in Accra or at the uh, uh, Asafo station in Kumasi, Kejetia? And when people get out and they are coming from uh, rural areas and they are coming to the city to seek jobs, you, you cane them and put them back in the bus and say, go back to the village. Is that the way to stop rural urban migration? That's really not the way. Because human beings, as Maslow said, uh, we have a certain order of priority and self-preservation is first. So when you come to a situation where you are confronted with the, the human being's choice of obeying the rules and uh, disobeying the rules towards self-preservation, that's very complicated. Tonight we'll get into those matters in some detail. We also put out a call to uh, Mr. Nchibosiako, the chairman of the um, Ashanti region of the new patriotic party. And uh, he spoke to us about, um, about his, his issues with Akonta mining. He has, we demanded from him and he has, um, uh, he has given it to us. We have obtained from him. Uh, documents about his company. We're going to put all of that on the touch screen and then you can interrogate the story yourself about his relationship with illegal mining, what the Sakunta mining does, and that's why we showed you that small montage with the, um, with the, uh, the, the, the Deputy Minister for Lands. Um, I'd like to show you again the montage that we showed with uh, Lord Bob Cole. If you don't know that song, it's Lord Bob Cole. It's entitled Abankaba. Abankaba is a, is a handcuff. And so we put the montage together with President Mahama talking about Galamsey and Lord Boko singing uh, uh, You know, the handcuff thing on his hand. So let's see the montage again. We come back and start with the program. 25 minutes by the top of the hour, 9 o'clock. Later tonight, we'll take you all, all the way to Paris uh, in Sorbonne University where President Akufado has received a, an honorary doctorate degree from the University of Sorbonne for the work that he has achieved as president of Ghana and uh, as president of ECOWAS, I believe, and also um, with his role in the African Union and all of that. We will hear what the award givers told him when they gave him the award in a video, also in a montage that we've put together uh, for you. Then we'll talk about the NDC story. There's something interesting going on in the National Democratic Congress. As they prepare for a, a National Delegates Congress, uh, we will tell you what, what is going on uh, in there, because now it's official. Johnson Asedu Nketia is no longer vying for the position of General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress. Quite clearly, he's heading upstairs. He's heading upstairs to chuck out the head of Chairman of Fuso and Pofu. Now, that's going to be a titanic battle, an interesting, pulsating battle is going to be between uh, Ofusan Pofu and Nasir Dunkati. I will give you the history of both of them as far as their party is concerned. And then we will also zero in on the seat that Nasir Dunkati is, uh, is leaving. He's departing the general secretary seat and he wants his deputy, Dr. Otokuno, to be the, uh, to ascend to that seat. Otokuno will be coming up uh, from the lower seat of deputy general secretary and will be hoping to mount one step promotion into Nasir Dunkati's heavy shoes. What's going to happen to all that? But what about Elvis Efri Ankara? Now, Elvis Ankara is also a big contender for the seat. And uh, there's also Fifi Kweti. We're going to analyze all three of them. And then uh, we will see how that goes. Okay, so we are ready with the show. Also in the studio is football legend Mohamed Polo. Mohamed Polo promised that he was going to give, uh, uh, he was going to give us a copy of his book. You know, he's written a book. Uh, he promised he was going to give us a copy of the book. He's in the studio to deliver the copy of the book to us. So we are very excited to see it. Uh, good evening to uh, those on my right, Aristotle. And good evening to those on my left, Plato. Uh, interesting conversation tonight. We'll be also talking, we'll also be talking about, um, actually we'll start with that on the touch screen, Nana Agrada. Now I have some interesting views about that. I think people must understand in Ghana, okay, that the law is not there to protect indiscretion. And so we are going to mount the touch screen tonight and show you that there's, there could be potentially, potentially, there could be very little that the law could do to protect those who gave their money to Agrada and are demanding it. Now we're going to go to the charges that has been uh, preferred against her and we're going to get you into the law to, to tell you her potential defenses and tell you that the difficulty that the prosecution has is almost an unsurmountable task 
that a prosecution has given themselves in a situation like that because people have voluntarily given and we're going to talk about scam and all of that i think people should get it very straight if you exercise indiscretion in certain ways the law is not your protector so next time you hear a record that somebody says i will do double your money the guy Sika and all of that you should really know that it's not the law cannot protect you. You are, you are free to go into that. It's okay. It's, it's a gamble. So you're free to go into that. But don't go into it and come back and ask the national law to use national resources, police resources, attorney general's office resources to prosecute somebody because of your indiscretion. We all have to learn that in the era of, of freedom and freedom of the media, I mean, somebody is selling a love portion and you go and buy it and it doesn't work and you want us to use the, the police to prosecute because he promised you that this love portion was going to work. I'm not so sure how that works. Maybe we'll be able to open the phone lines on that and talk about it. So once we also get to Galamse and talk about Chema Woon to miss issues, uh, we will, of course, uh, speak live to Charles Bissu, who is away uh, from Ghana, but he has been... Uh, named by the special prosecutor and named for a, um, uh, offenses relating to Galamse. But here is the same Charles Bissu who has been completely acquitted by the Department of um, Criminal Investigations, Department of the Ghana Police Service, have completely acquitted him. Now, in the circumstances, how does a special prosecutor then relist him for investigations and potential prosecution? We'll get into the details of the law on that one and we'll be speaking to Charles Bissu as well. So that's an interesting package for you tonight. We know that Aisha Wan was in court today. We know that bail has been refused and we know that the Attorney General has entered into the matter and therefore the matter is going to move up to the high court the attorney general will be prosecuting shawan uh, for the offenses that have that the prosecution have identified we'll keep an eye on that one and we'll bring you some details in the near future uh, half an hour now 30 minutes past nine o'clock uh, here is our montage john mahama and lord bob cole and deputy minister for lance uh Miku duka uh, after that, we'll come back to the studio, take a break, and then we start the show. This is Good Evening Ghana. It's live. Thank you very much for your time. As you... Yeah, ban. Omo omo chi omo galam se no. Omo atu omo mo. Yeah, ban ma omo amnesty. No omo asaba. As you... Come <laughs> If ye are yes, sir. Come on, me oh, I want to come on, Come on, me I want to come on, If ye are yes, sir. As you, yeah, Omo omo chi omo galam se no, omo atu omo mo, yebe ma omo amnesty no omo asaba. Ezu, mo jidi se. Emrebia omo fomye omo emu omo ho enti yebe yi omo na ya ma omo another chance let me let me also put it on record that contamine has concessions around that area for example in 2012 june 14th they had um a recon reconnaissance uh, license over an area of 135.87 square kilometers in samaboy so obviously, it's summer boy that we're talking of. I mean, 2012 is way back. Akunta Mining has been responsible uh, small-scale mining concession, uh, concessionaire, or concession as we, we may put it, and has been mining responsible. All right, 
so uh, full force now. Let's take the first break so we get it out of the way. When we come back, all the stories will be loading one after the other, after the other, after the other. This is your best news presentation program. It's called Good Evening Ghana. We'll be right back after the break. You are a couple of my talent. You are. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> you were a couple of my talent. You were. Okay, good evening again and welcome to the show. And uh, those of you who are watching on Facebook, we showed you that uh, piano recital by Shatawali and uh, maybe sometime during the show, we'll, we'll show it out again. All right, so um, tonight we have a big conversation on Galamsey, don't we? And we're going to take it as we always do from a completely different angle. Uh, we have quite a bit of research for you to share with you on our touch screen with our lawyers who have looked at the rules and the laws. But we've also had a conversation with uh, Chairman Woon to me who, who gave me uh, some, some information, some data and some statistics. Actually, I need some photographs. I'll, I'll get them. Uh, 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 and I'll, be, I'll tell you some photographs that I need so you can get it. All right. Now, President Akufado has been in Paris. Is he still there? I think he is probably coming in tomorrow. Uh, and out there in Paris, he received an award from the University of Sorbonne. Please Google the University of Sorbonne. Uh, now, it is called the Oxford of the French world. It's a premier university in France. It's a very old university and it's still the leading. I believe it's our number one university in the French world. Sometimes they compete with Oxford and Harvard. Uh, but you can Google that and find out for yourself. Uh, so if you are watching and uh, you, you want to pray for your children to speak good French and to be studied, to study in a good French university uh, so that they can come back to Ghana with their bilingual skills. Uh, maybe Sorbonne is where you should direct your prayer request to, uh, Sorbonne University. That's where the president was uh, delighted to receive an award uh, um, in recognition of the work that he has done since he became president of Ghana in 2017. So uh, it is my pleasure to show you the montage that we put together. Congratulations, Mr. President and your team. Uh, the team with him included the Minister for Education, Dr. Osaya Oeduchum, uh, who was there to accompany the president. Because the president also spoke about education, and he spoke at UNESCO, and he spoke up against the uh, um, third world and southern countries having to make a choice between education and any other thing. He's told the United Nations that we should make it such a way that we don't choose between education and something, that education ought to be a sine qua non for the development of every individual, especially in the southern 
third world. This is President Akufado at Sorbonne University on Monday morning. Un très grand honneur et une très grande émotion de me trouver ici devant vous, dans le grand amphithéâtre de la Sorbonne, l'une des plus vieilles et des plus prestigieuses universités au monde. Honneur, car être ainsi distingué dans ce qui est l'un des foyers intellectuels de la France d'hier et de toujours m'inscrit dans la lignée qui m'oblige. De Pablo Picasso à mon illustre compatriote Kofi Annan, de Martin Saint à Nelson Mandela, la liste de ceux à qui vous avez réservé cette marque d'estime mon pli d'humilité. Il est de notoriété publique. Et cela m'est d'ailleurs parfois reproché, car ce n'est pas toujours à la mode en Afrique que j'aime la France. En citant un grand homme à qui votre pays doit tant, le général de Gaulle, je peux même dire avec lui que toute ma vie, je me suis fait une certaine idée de la France. Le sentiment me l'inspire autant que la raison. On parle d'importants déséquilibres. Un peu partout, la montée de frustration s'accompagne de la résurgence de formes anciennes ou l'émergence de formes nouvelles de violence. L'alternative à un monde livré au pillage à l'arbitraire et cette violence. C'est un monde régi par le droit et guidé par l'esprit de justice. Nous sommes au bord des grands désastres. C'est, hélas, la pente du monde. Je ne m'y résume pas. Les inéluctables et l'autre nom de l'abandon. Je vous remercie.
Yeah, so you had the, the what did the president say? He said, Merci, okay, écoutez, uh, aujourd'hui. What, what did he say? He said something like that. Uh, aujourd'hui is today, eh? Uh, a bientôt, uh, allow me to just box it together like that. You know, this French that we didn't learn, you need to laugh at our French master. When the French master comes in, we are laughing at him, then we are not paying attention. You see, you see where we are. We cannot say, uh, écoutez, aujourd'hui, the, the president says it nicely, you know, they are d'accord. I, I can't say, the French teacher, forgive me, eh? I beg you, I'll never do. And those of you who are young, the French teacher, when he comes, don't laugh at him. You see, it can take you to Sorbonne. You, you saw, please, don't laugh at the French teacher. We laughed at the French teachers. Ah, they were dodging, they were hiding and that. Uh, you know, when the, when the exam timetable, we copy the exam timetable, we don't even copy French. So you come back to house three and they say, ah, when do we have French? They say, oh, we don't know, we don't care. Uh, that's what we're doing. You know, very, very bad. We will not do that again. We have regretted and uh, we are sorry. Uh, we'll learn French. Uh, those of you who are young, you have the opportunity. Don't be like us. You be like Akufado. You can say Ojodui. You can say Dakom, Mentana. You know, those things. Yeah, it's very, very important. Mentana means now. Dakom means it's all right. Ojodui means today. You see, I'm doing well. So even the one I didn't learn, Christ, coming small. Presec is a very good school, you see. Very, very good school. Now we have a matter on our hands. This is this lady. Uh, she has some name. I was surprised to hear the name on the radio news. I, I didn't know. You know, we call her a grad. We don't know that she has it. She has some, she has some name, nice name like that. Now, the problem in, about this matter is a problem of societies and the problem of human beings. It's not just Ghanaian human beings. It's all human beings. We have to learn to understand that. The, the state, you see, the, the authority of the state is not there to protect your indiscretions. No. It's there to protect you when somebody is trying to cheat you, when, when something happens. And also, if you fall foul of the law, the law will have to deal with you in a certain way. But if somebody advertises on, on uh, uh, tele, I think TV stations must put a disclaimer on those adverts. Somebody advertises and say, I'm Sika Gary, I can give you more money and all of that. Uh, if you, if you get taken in by that, you see, we're just discussing this here in the studio, right? Then somebody said that, okay, the people who say that Agrada has misled them and therefore Agrada should be prosecuted and are def uh, defrauding by false pretenses. Agrada has put out a video. Do we have the Agrada video? Yeah, yeah I sent it. The one, that she, the one that she made and Graphic Online used it. We'll, we'll look for it. We'll look for it and get it. She's put out a video and said that she has not defrauded anyone and that the all night ended on Sunday uh, Friday, and after Friday, everyone went home. That the video that went viral, for which reason she's been arrested, and for which she's been denied police inquiry bail, is, um, is a video that was, she believes, was orchestrated on Saturday morning by some of the people who didn't get some of the money. Whatever all that means, there's freedom of worship. People can worship anything they want and worship anyhow they want. If your worship tenets require that you pay money or it require that you succumb to some money uh, temptation that it will be doubled or it will be tripled and you go and submit yourself to it and it goes bad our state police really what, sh what do you want them to do we have to get into this situation where we understand that indiscretion cannot be protected by the state police you you have to learn your lesson and then next time you know you just don't do it i, I mean haven't we all been scammed before i remember a friend of mine um, Many years ago, you know, that's not, that's not part of the story, but I'll tell you. You know that thing they put in th those days, I don't know whether the new generation have seen it. You go to places like Tudu in Accra and uh, Asafo Market in Kumasi, they, they have this, so they have some gifts on their sec cellular, secular something. And so they, they spin it, and then, I don't know whether that's called a roulette. A roulette is played in casino, but this is very similar. They spin it, and then if you, you spin it yourself, you the, you, the, you the gambler, you spin it, and then if it lands on a mobile phone, you take the mobile phone and they, are, they put items, their mobile phone, transistor radio, those days, that Walkman, those days, that's what it was. So you, this guy, a friend of mine coming to school, they've given him money to pay his school fees. Okay. He's in form four, so he's about 16 years old. Okay. Now he thinks he can double the school fees very quickly. Okay. So he, he finds himself in 2D in Accra. This guy is going to Bishop Herman in, in Pando. So he's looking for STC, all right? So he goes to their place and then he sees that stuff. And then uh, he says, okay, he's interested. So... You, you put money down, and then you spin. Okay. So he spun the thing, and then the thing landed on a trusted radio. He was excited. So he picked the radio. He was going, believing that he has won. Everybody said, where, where is he going? He has not won it. He put the radio that they harassed him, bullied him out of his victory. He didn't get it, and he lost his money. 
quietly went back to school, you know. So th this is what has now been translated, I guess, into the church and all of that. So people must just be wary. We, we know that there are bad people in the society. There are good people. Uh, we encourage leaders of sorts not to do this dramatic money scams. But really, people must also be must open their eyes. I mean, many people tell me that they don't even understand what's going through the people's minds that you have to believe that somebody can double your money and then you go there and says 10,000 for 100,000 and you believe it. People are talking like that. Yes, that's kind of true. So really, what I want us to do tonight is to show you what the position of the law is and to show you how difficult it could be, could be for the prosecution. It could be quite difficult for them. And what are the defenses available to uh, Mami or Nana Agrada, whatever she's called, Kukua Preku, will join me right now and tell us, uh, give us the legal position. He's been looking at it for a while. Uh, later tonight, we'll be speaking to Charles BCO about the special prosecutor's request for him to come and face uh, some investigations. Also, we have had an extensive conversation with Chairman Wun to me, and we'll report that to you with diagrams and pictures about his claims that he is not into Galamse because he's our friend. We were very worried. Uh, and so we spoke to him, and he gave us some information. Kukua, so who is this, by the way? This is Evangelist Patricia, uh, a.k.a. Nana Agrada. That's the name I was looking for. Patricia what? Um, Patricia Siedu. A Siedu, okay. Also known as so, Nana so, so, the story as I've told is correct. She held yes. an all-night service on yes, Friday. So fr yes. And promised to do what? So, according to some sources, I don't want to be conclusive on the matter, but according to some sources, she claimed that she would be able to double, in some instances, triple, quadruple amounts of money given to her in church. Um, however, on the other side, what she said was that, or in her defense, was that she didn't say she was going to double money and what she was asking for was a donation. And that it was the minds of the congregation that once they give the donation, they were expecting the money to be doubled. By her? By her. At the same as to, time? As to, I, I'm not very sure if they mean at the same time as all the media will go and come back for the money. And I think the rationale behind that was they remember what she was doing at her old spots. As at, a fetish. As a yes. Mm -hmm. And at that time she was at Kaswa and then she had another branch at Pukwase. She used to do it on Thunder TV. I think I watched some episodes. And she was able to double money? Oh, on, on, on screen uh -huh. for you to see. But I can't, I can't so speak. She, she, so so <laughs> she, she sort of uh, purported to double to, money. Exactly. So okay. she'll be sitting in her batakari behind the pots. And then she'll be kili, 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 and then you come and give the money, she puts it in the pots, and then she'll be shaking, 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 shaking. You open it and then a full juice bag, and you see people excited. Juice bag? Yeah, juice bag of money. And they'll be carrying it on Thunder TV, on, 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 on TV. So and she was that's, charged. And that's called Sika Gary. Sika Gary. Yeah. You know Gary when you were in SS? Yeah. In the SS, I wasn't, I wasn't eating Gary. Okay. The yeah, mass, I, I Gary. Uh, the masses. Yeah. They you mean you mean how it builds up? How the gari <laughs> builds up? Yes. So what she was saying that this is a sika that can grow like gari grows when you pour water on it. Exactly. Ah, I see. Exactly. So then when she she now she's now moved from fetish into gospel. Yes. And then on Friday she held an all night. Oh, yes. Now the allegation is that she promised this kind of doubling money. Yes. But she says she didn't make that promise. Yes. And that she was asking for donations or contributions to her. Okay. Church. So but she also said in the video that um, the the uh, some people were actually giving money, not by doubling it, but by she handing over money to them. She said that. Yes. It's and, and that there were some people who didn't get some of the money, but she couldn't have given it to everyone. everyone. And that the offering that they gave mm -hmm. was not a basis for her to give them money. money. She was giving the money anyway. The offering is a different matter. It's and she asked for offering from 1,000 Ghana cities oh. all the way to 1 Ghana cities. It's actually something she does. So she gives, if you follow um, her ministry, she gives cloth mm -hmm. at times. And the cloth is believed to possess certain spiritual powers. She gives money at times and she gives alms. And so people actually leave, you know, long distances to come to her church. And then they get the cloth. And once they get the cloth, you are supposed to put the cloth on your head. And then you stand in front. We, I think we even have the video of her singing and dancing with the members with, with the cloth on, with their, cloth heads. on their head. Okay, yes. we'll take that video soon. So let's go to this one. It says she was arrested and arraigned before the Accra Circuit Court. Uh, with the following charges. One, defrauding by false pretenses contrary to Section 131 of the Criminal Code and Other Offenses Act 1960, Act 29. Number two, uh, what was that? Charlatanic advertisement contrary to Section 137. But is this, is this old? This is Act 29. Yeah, oh, I know, it. but I mean, in terms of uh, uh, charging her with Again, this, it has is this an old offense? 
This is not related to Friday, is no, it? No, this is related to Friday. Again. Has she made advertisements ahead of the Friday uh, or yes, during the on, service? On, so they are alleging that there has, been, there has been constant, you know, she has been using Thunder TV to constantly, Thunder TV and Ice TV, Ice One TV, to constantly advertise these things that she can multiply money purportedly. And so they are saying that by virtue of those, you know, instances, which culminated to the events on Friday, mm -hmm. she... Is being charged with. I don't know whether you tell us here, uh, Abreku, the, uh, the element or the ingredient. No, no, not that the the offence. How 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 long a person will be jailed if she's found guilty? Do you tell us that? So it's a second degree felony. Mm -hmm. However, the judge has discretion. You know, a misdemeanor is maximum three years. Second degree felony is three upwards. And so, what's the maximum for second degree felony? Um, I mean, second degree, I think ten. Ten is the maximum. Yes, okay. um, but the judge has discretion. The judge, the judge has discretion to sort of wade into and say, okay, maybe you would have four, you would have five. And okay. so it depends. Uh, so here it's just says, can't be below three. Any person by any false pretense shall be guilty of a second degree felony. That's what you're talking about. Okay. All right. A person is uh, guilty of defrauding by false pretenses if, any, if by that any means. means or any false pretense or by uh, impersonation, he, she obtains the consent of another to part with... Uh, or transfer ownership of anything. This is interesting. Yeah. A person is guilty of a, of defrauding by false pretenses if, by means of any false pretense or by personation, he obtains the consent. Okay. So consent obtained through uh, Your false pretenses pretense. exactly is, uh, makes you guilty of a, of, a, of defrauding by false pretenses. Yes, and the consent. Th this one looks like it's okay here. This and the, and like the consent must culminate in you parting with something. Something. So the money, yes, but we, we, hmm. okay, you let's, well, let's let's get there because <laughs> if I go to church and I give offering mm -hmm. five hundred CDs, yes, uh, and the pastor says so the end of the month mm -hmm. as usual, and pastor comes and says that let's read Malachi thirty one, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the special pastor, some pastors are specialized for the Malachi thirty one thing. So sometimes the lead pastor will sit aside and then some pastor will come and he's the one who always does Malachi 31. Oh, yeah. Bishop James is an expert of Malachi 31. <laughs> <laughs> so James will come and Archbishop will be seated and James will come and talk about Malachi 31. He says that um, if, you, if, you, if you give, he will open the windows of heaven and pour out blessing unto you that you will not have enough place to keep. So they tell us that one. And they also tell us uh, um, if you give and it shall be given unto you, uh, shaking together, running right, over, press men, down. press down, men would press down is almost like the pot. Thing. Yeah, mm, yes, mm, mm, yes, press down, then press down shaking, shaking together, together running, running over, over, men will give unto your bosom. So, yes. based on that, mm -hmm. I go and give 500 cities. Mm -hmm. So, is that defrauded by false pretenses? You see, that is general a bit in the sense that it pertains to faith. Mm -hmm. So, there's a difference. If I say that, in my opinion, if someone says that, Bishop, I, I do not think that's defrauded by false pretenses. But if a pastor says that, mm, I see that anybody who gives me 500 cities by the end of this month would have a car. Matthew Ashimolo does that at the, at the Greater Works. I 24 know. hours. He limits us to 24 hours. hours. Ah. Yes, 24 hour miracle. Give me a thousand dollars. In 24 hours, you will receive a significant blessing. You see, that's a significant blessing. A significant mm. blessing is not specific. Well, but the law says. A person is guilty of defrauding by false pretenses mm -hmm. if, by means of any false pretense mm -hmm. or by personation, mm -hmm. which will cover those things yes. we're talking about, yes. he obtains the consent of, of another. another person to part with or transfer, transfer ownership. ownership of anything. Which so I part with the money, money and I transfer it into the ownership of the church. church. Because Matthew Ashimolo said to me that if you do this, Within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. But the important thing about criminal prosecution is that there has to be a complainant. So if nobody complains, complains. about Matthew Ashimolo, but, then that's okay. But even if somebody complains, mm -hmm. are we really ready for a society that supports people reporting on their pastors on issues like this or the men of God on issues like this? Well, I but mean, the, the way the law is designed, mm -hmm. there's a temptation for any lawyer mm -hmm. to advise a client to go and report to the police. Because false pretenses, personation, mm -hmm. the obtaining of consent... Okay. It's classic, really classic. But can you tell if the if is that, the, if that's the different indeed. from that's different from the Catholic priest? Yes. Who does not even talk about the offering? Offering is on the timetable of the church, and when it's offering time, they begin the processes for mm -hmm. offering. He doesn't say anything yeah. about if, it. And if when the offering give... is gathered, he comes and he says, "Dominus vobiscu, amen." <laughs> you are done. 
they mm. don't say malachi they don't do that okay mm -hmm. so i mean that's different that one you can't say false pretenses personation but the one that the charismatics do which we're used to which we all benefit from because i believe in that i mm -hmm. believe in the faith i believe that malachi 30, uh, 3 31 yeah. works i believe that if you give it shall be given unto uh -huh. you press down seeking to get i believe it so I do you think it. that someone mm -hmm. should go to the police and report a pastor based on that because uh, he is no. also speaking on authority so i'm thinking the prosecution are going to struggle because you were relying on your faith exactly and that yeah, is what i keep do, saying which we do all the time we all rely, rely on our faith relying on faith and yeah. so if you have to rely on faith then it will be hard in this instance as i said we don't want to open the floodgates yeah. and give you know people if if she's if she's if she's people found use guilty of this exactly then the, the the high court would have set is it a high court by the way um, for a circuit court, the circuit court, yeah. the circuit court would have set up. But I mean, it's, it's even if the circuit court that decides it, it's going to yes, it's going yeah, to be a persuasive they, yes president where people will say, oh, but this has been done before. They're going to set a very possible. dangerous precedent on how you can go and say Matthew Simolo said I should give a thousand dollars. I did. I didn't get anything. Anything. Let's go and catch him. And that is why I think under that section one three two, I think that if you have a if I mean we have a church and we are worshiping, we should just let people give from the abundance of their hearts. But all this. Give this and this shall be, you know, given, or give this and this but shall be given. The I Shunammite really woman, the mm -hmm. Shunammite woman in the historical yes. Bible, and also the prophet who told the, the lady that you have bread, you know, give, give it to me and then uh, do the last one, let's eat it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you'll be fine. And then the woman said, All I have is just for me and, and my, my child, yes. and we are dead. And the prophet said, No, you, you may die, but you give it to me yes. and let's see what happens. He doubled it. He tripled yeah. it. He quadrupled it. Uh -huh, but Acts 29 wasn't there. It wasn't there. But that's the faith that we have inherited. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. So the reason I am saying that... The, the controversy be... for the modern development mm -hmm. of the law is how to place the faith within the context of, of a prosecution. Exactly. Very, very complicated. Exactly. Let's see how this... Particularly how goes. it seems they are picking on Agrada only. Because... No, she's many, the one who has been reported. Yeah, she's the one who has been, many, who has been reported. But yeah, but when the video when came around, came, when it comes out, people, people say, jump on. Yeah, people say go and, go and arrest her. I saw people on Facebook say, yeah. why has Agada not been arrested? Yes. What's, what's the point? But of, when it's someone is it because she speaks in Chi and oh, she's, not, would... she's not a very distinguished, you know, pastor oh. who slants and says, hallelujah no, be to the history. resurrected Lord. Her history. It's her, it's her yeah, history. Yeah, but we can't use her history to punish her for something that everybody does. Something that is faith. You see, not everybody promises to double money. No, not double. Matthew Ashimolo says within 24 hours something will happen. If nothing happens, he's, yeah, but he's you see, falling foul of the law. No, Lord. but you see, if he, nothing happens, he says it's a miracle, right? Mm -hmm. And nothing happens. He doesn't have personal control of miracles that come from heaven. Yes, she but his personation got him mm -hmm. to obtain consent from me to produce $100 to the church offering board. On faith basis, yeah. she is saying that allegedly that she can double money money that by, belongs by the power created of by the, the bank of ghana yeah by the power of the spirit that she she's you see she's subscribing to. Was une, even if there's going to be a miracle maybe i'll be there and then paul will come and give me the money yes that, that's what we subscribe that is to. fundamentally different from yeah, saying that Asimolo bank has, of ghana no, 10 no, cd no, notes no. will become 20 cd notes. that's quite technical but the asimolo has by personation obtained the consent of another person how is it by personation if he believes it's, Asimolo must, says, remember and give, you know I, I, I discussed that with somebody well, mm -hmm. at, at that time the person was a minister and i asked him that senior this asimolo thing because i, I subscribe to that big time i'm mm -hmm. a fundamentalist in that so i was asking him that this asimolo thing is this something we can do something about because the whole is bashing us for this and that and he said look Leonard it happened to me I was riding in my car on my way to Ashimolo's event and I heard him and I said okay let me try it and he said within 24 hours he got a lot of financial blessing after doing mm -hmm. it at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. the next day by 4 p.m. before he went back to the Independence Square he something went, had happened exactly but the cash didn't so he, multiply you yeah, see no well, somebody gave no, him cash okay so bigger than what he gave to the, to the church. essential elements of every crime there are two things that must be satisfied mm -hmm. there must be a mens rea and an actus reus mm -hmm. the mens rea is the criminal mind and the actus reus is the criminal act why and is the, the criminal point, mind in the a faith-based situation the criminal mind is you knowing that indeed what you are doing is not going to she knows that the money is not going to multiply i i allegedly but she didn't say she's multiplying money in this regard Did she no, say I'm, no i'm saying that assuming okay but uh, we but are talking on the assumption that she, that, that she that's... gave money to people she said give money and i'll give you give money. money and she, she did. did give money to uh, people on the friday what are those yeah so she said that if you didn't get 
that's, and, that's and that is why I am saying that for all other members or, or for all other pastors, if you want to prove and say they have fallen foul of section 132, then it behooves on you to show that indeed, as at when they were making those promises, they had a criminal mind. The criminal yes. mind may be intent, knowledge, how negligence, how, recklessness. How do you, how, how do you recognize, mm -hmm. isolate, mm -hmm. and determine a criminal mindset within the context of faith? It is the duty of the prosecution, and it's the duty of the prosecution to prove beyond reasonable doubts. That's the, where the problem is going to be. Exactly. So as for that one, I it's think the, it's the prosecution it's, it's, it's directed problem. more by social media, but it's okay for us to get these definitions yeah. out it's, and, and it's see good. the standard that we can work it's with good, and the standard that we have to we can also with. evolve and define certain things. I mean, Act 29 is 1960. Yeah, oh, but it's been amended. Act 29 is been Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, yes. It's been amended many times. Many times, yes. Yeah. But I mean, the, the, there are many, many provisions, for instance. What are you telling us here? You said a the consent, consent shall not be deemed to have been obtained by a false representation as to the quality or value of a thing, unless the thing is substantially worthless for the purpose for which it is uh, represented to be fit. Okay, so assuming somebody gave one CD, mm -hmm. is that what you're saying? One CD coin. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what you mean here. Yes, that if the thing is worthless, if I am representing to you that I can give you this iPhone 14 and then it ends up being soup, mm -hmm. the worth of iPhone 14 and so, so clearly yeah. is the difference. So the consent is not cannot be obtained. Even if I had, I had given the, the consent, I had given the consent for an iPhone 14, not soup. Even if the soup oh, looks like I see what 14. you mean. So that so if the you value. give me something in return, which is worthless compared to what I gave. Exactly. exactly. So, so she's it. asking for 1,000 cities. Yes. If she gives you back 500 cities, it's worthless? It's not. It's not up to 1,000. What was the bargain? That I'll double 1,000. Exactly. So if you didn't double 1,000, then the 500. When an individual presents himself mm -hmm. within this context, strictly by the law, and goes into a situation where he's expecting his 1,000 to be physically doubled in a dramatic spiritual way. Mm -hmm. Is that also not an offense? That's because that's legal tender. The money is yeah, legal tender. Yes, it's regulated by the Bank of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And you, you go into a process where you are believing that if you tender a 50 CD note, that 50 CD note will metamorphose itself by some dramatic way yeah. to become a thousand. Good. And that's when that's why I went back and I was talking to you about Ashimo Lowe's phone. You see, in Peter, in the book of Peter, I think first or second Peter, one of them, I've forgotten the verse and chapter. Mm -hmm. But um, it says that, Anna all men love the brotherhood, fear God, Anna the emperor. Mm -hmm. In the sense that the laws of man must be complied with. With Ashimolo's own, it's a supernatural law. Somebody, you know, somebody's, you know, at times you can feel so much to do something for somebody. Mm -hmm. It is grace. I believe in that thing. Mm -hmm. There are some people, everywhere they go, they are liked, they are favored. It is grace. That is supernatural. That is different. It's not the purview of man. But once you say that this tense, I don't know if you have physical cash here for me to hold as, you know, mm -hmm. can you give me money for me to hold? <laughs> for the, me to say, the lawyer wants to demonstrate. Uh, yeah, I'll demonstrate. Okay, I'll give you a 50 CD note. Oh, uh, yes. oh you want more? Uh, if I can get. Well, why do you need more? It's just a demonstration you are doing. Oh, <laughs> valuable demonstration. <laughs> but so you this see, is a 50 CD note, legal good. tender. Once you take 50 CD notes, uh -huh. It is no longer anything about supernatural laws or laws of God or whatever. This is the law of man. It is Bank of Ghana. Anybody who tells you that I am going to double this double ten, I am going to double this legal ten, I make it hundred CDs, is basically toying with the laws of man because in this instance it cannot be doubled. It is Bank so of Ghana. So if I submit it. myself to that, should the prosecution be looking for me as well? You that you were submitted you yourself. You are the victim. You are the complainant. Yeah, but why must I, a law-abiding citizen, submit myself to something without reporting the person who is asking to do this? I should be telling the police that there is no yeah. hundred out here. Okay. This is what she's More doing. Is. She's violating the yeah. banking laws. But yeah. if I submit myself to it and become a complainant in this instance, should the police be looking for me as well, as a contributor to the menstrual? So yeah. Well, that is that is, and and it then goes to menstrual mm -hmm. because if me nana grada. I be, well, I'm not going to agree that, but if I believe that this is legal tender and I'm going to multiply it for you, it means that I have an intent of malice. I know it because cannot be multiplied. multiplying this is illegal. Exactly. So, but when she says multiply, does it mean that she will take your 50 and give you 200? That is what she was doing at... Yeah, but if she's giving you... Two, if I take this 59 and I give you 200, what's, what's, the, what's the illegality about it? It is your 200 you are giving me. Yes. You are not saying you are multiplying the 50 but to 200. what is the context of she saying multiply? What does it mean? Taking the money say, and... I'll the take the same money doubling. and change it. No. The, she says, I'll multiply it for you. So, me, give me 50. I'll give you back 200. If I was here, I would have said that, well, it was a scheme for me to show 
for people to show their commitments so that I, I help them. So I did not mean to double the money. Now you're talking about the potential defense available yes. to her. I, I, okay. I, I, so the defense I, I, available to her is in the face of this, yeah. the, the Nagrada, why did you say you can double the money? What's, what, what's defense available to her? I would have said when I meant, when I said double, I did not mean double in the sense of the money multiplying the times hand. two. Exactly. I could take the value of the 50 CDs and give you value of 100 CDs. Value of 100 CDs is different from multiplying 50 CDs to 100 CDs. Yeah, but that's, a, that's an easy call. Her lawyers will be able to put that. Exactly. That is what I would, or I would say. But I, you see, you, you, you shouldn't put the cart before the, the horse. I would have waited, or I would wait for them to prove everything. And essentially for them to prove menstrual, particularly menstrual in issues of spirituality. Yeah, but that's the point. I mean, how do you prove menstrual in the context of faith? That's really complicated. Uh, very, very no, interesting. No. And wow. there's also another interesting law. On, uh, on what Shana. basis are they able to deny her police inquiry bail? <sighs> okay, so um, for police inquiry, police inquiry bail is often subject to the discretion of the police. Often okay. they are the ones who you go, they ask for surety, they just sign, and then we have bail where you go to court, where the court denies, and that's what Aisha Wang, um, um, yeah, so Aisha Wang is, 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 is facing. So generally, all offenses are bailable. All offenses are bailable doesn't mean we should give bail in all offenses. So the table is breakable. It doesn't mean the table should break. That's the rationale mm -hmm. we, are, we, are, we are using. However, um, we use certain considerations, the safety of the accused. Yeah. Right now, if you are releasing her to go, people are very angry. They yeah. can go in. You remember when um, um, this pastor who is at Odoko, um, Usu Bempa, gave a prophecy about the chief imam mm -hmm. and what happened at his church. So the, the rationale is we may be keeping her in custody to keep her safe. She may have the opportunity to interfere with investigations because she's influential in the lives of the complainants. And remember that in law, relationships between pastors and followers, doctors and um, patients, patients and it's, 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 it's fiduciary mm -hmm. because it's believed that we sway some sort of influence, influence over. over. Them, yeah. Exactly. So they believe that it is possible or it may be possible for her to influence these, peace, these people and sort of tweak their testimonies mm. by threatening them. If the pastor says that you, I see that you will die in one week time, I'm, I'll stop, I'm going to continue. And you know, we live in a country that is very, very, we are very religious. In, Have the police time. so far obtained complainants? Yes, Test testimony five. so far. They said they gave how much? Um, I am not privy to that information just yet. Okay. Often they really don't like. Um, mm. Talking publicly about those things because yeah, we want have to the protect the people exactly people, and have yeah. the opportunity of 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 of, of. Mm -hmm. so um, this is false pretense. We, we've spoken about it. So yeah. okay. a false pretense is a representation of the existence of a state of facts made by a person, either with the knowledge and see with the knowledge that such representation is false or without the belief that it is true and made with an intent to defraud. So you must but, prove yeah, that. But this is going to be very complicated. Exactly. Because if I, I have, have, if I have the courts have history of being able to prove these things. These and, things. Uh, yeah. Oh. Because she's right. already on trial on the Sika yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's pending, isn't it? It's pending. It's, it's even going to be hard for... As for the charlatanic, charlatanic advertisement, it's straightforward. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For charlatanic... And that one is also problematic. Look at this. Fortune telling. Mm -hmm. What is fortune telling? Palm mystery telling you how you I no, look I look at I look at you and say fortune the, telling yeah, comma. the way you look the way you look you're gonna be a great a how? great person in future. So give me hundred CDs Amen. to cement that <laughs> yeah to cement <laughs> the greatness that I can see on your forehead. Give me hundred CDs. Yes. Yeah. The fortune telling, right? That's fortune telling. Yeah, but it happens in churches. It does. So if I advertise that in church, yeah, the prophet comes and calls and says, What's your name? I think your name is Chrissy. Come, 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 come. The Lord has blessed you. Go so so and put something in the offering basket and come back. And let me preach for it. Let me let me pronounce something on you, and then and the people do that, and and it works sometimes. Yeah, and reason I have a, I wouldn't say problem, but this also provision also is a bit problematic for me because mm -hmm. if we are going to enforce it, it's going to be a big deal. Palmistry, for instance, now is done in churches. Pastors use oh, palms. Really? Yes, pastors use palms to read people's destinies. Pastors use faces. To read, I remember um, there was one time in a pastor's church, and he said, Oh, we may have accidents, car, ball. And when he was asked why and how, he says he was looking at their foreheads. And he could see. And he could see it on the forehead. That car, ball. Uh -huh. So, as <laughs> so, <laughs> But so astrology is published in the newspapers. 
the signs, yes. uh, the stars, the zodiac, uh, and all that. Yeah, it's published in the newspaper. Exactly. And it is people. So, so is that is that charlatanic advertisement? That's what you're because saying. Because in the newspaper, in graphic, they mm. publish Aries. You're yeah. going to do this this week. This is going to happen that General week. Only, and this is the person you should date. This yeah. Is, you know, people come and say, oh, oh that's I'm, the one you've been reading. Just, me, I don't, know, I, I, I don't even know my star. People <laughs> 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 say, I am a, I'm a Virgo. Uh, so I'm supposed to date uh, this one. I'm sorry. Virgos behave like this. Yeah. All those things. But uh, it's kind of true, though. No? Oh. You read it, read it, and see. It's kind of, it's kind of. Yeah. It, it's not to be relied upon. I have to be but clear to say that. It's a guide. No, it's not. It's not. It may not even be a guide. But when you read, circumstantially, somehow, mm. some of it are really, really true. Oh, me. Yeah. Ask for me if you come and you do something to me. I won't say because of your style. I'll spare you. Well, you have to be tolerant in that area. It's, it also helps us to tolerate other people. Ah, well, so it's, it's understand almost, where they're coming from. It's almost like the sanguine, melancholy, and yeah, all of that. So once you can groups. understand them, then you can tolerate them better. So you come to this room and you mm -hmm. see that Michael Angelo is kind of different, and yeah. then you find that he's sanguine. You say, ah, okay, Michael is sanguine. But you are choleric, obviously, because you are all over the place. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but usually, cholerics combine with sanguine. Very interesting combination. So mm. there's phlegmatic. They are another kind of. People. So it helps you yeah, to tolerate people. Side. Yeah, but you see, it then speaks to the issue of Article Seventeen and discrimination. Mm -hmm. can, can, wait, can I keep the money? Uh, no, not for now. No, thanks. <laughs> what, <laughs> what does Seventeen say? You see, Seventeen says that there shall be no discrimination, and then Seventeen yeah. Three defines mm -hmm. discrimination as the treatment of a group of people, or a person, to the detriment of the person. Astrology is an is a fortune telling palmistry. These are essential elements or features of people's faith. Yes, yes, absolutely. And so if Section 137 of Acts 29 is saying that these things cannot be advertised, but Islam can be advertised, but Christianity can be ad advertised. Even now, these things are found in Christianity, right? But traditional religion That's a very interesting can point be advertised. You're making. Then, how is we discrimination? But, but for some religions, for, for Hindus and stuff like that, mm -hmm. astrology could, could be very important. Yes, I have an aunt who mm -hmm. is from my, my, my mother's side, uh, Togolese, who is Hindu. And, and they do astrology quite Yes, a bit. and who comes to the house, and last time she was chanting, my mother got very angry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you think there has to be a real look, we at, should look at it, and that was why I was saying that our act, the Act Twenty Nine, was passed in 1960. Yeah, we know that, but it's been amended. In, it's amended so many times. Amended. Yo, oh, yes, oh, it's been amended. But I'm, I'm talking about the, for instance, this has not been touched. Yeah, this the only been. amendment was made in the Electronic Transactions Act, yes, where yes, they yes. added and yeah. said that not just journal or newspaper, but. Um, social media, website, mm. television, and then they added to it. But that is all. At that time, majority of Ghanaians were Christians. And even the Christianity in 1960, predominantly, we did um, some work on the show. Recently, uh, yeah. There were, there were a lot of was traditional religion. Yeah, tra I mean, tra that, but before the 40s. In the yes, 40s. But the but Christianity we moved, of the 60s was, was the protest. It was the... Uh, uh, Catholics the, and the, 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 apostolic. The, yeah, ca Catholic and Methodist and the, the, yeah, the Orthodox. The and for Orthodox, they are very... These things... Palm mystery. I mean, they if, don't do those things. They don't do those things. Ah, if, if a so you're saying give you that a the influence of the law we wrote in 1960 was, was the kind of Christianity, Christianity we had then. So this was really a promulgation of Christianity exactly. to the exclusion of other religions that we are going to grow later yes. on, and the potential influence ah. of those religions on Christianity. Mm. So a priest, if he, a priest wants to tell you something, maybe he sees something. You know, Muhammad like this was prophesied. It was a a, a, a monk, a, you know. A priest that prophesied to Muhammad, you you will be great, you will form a religion. They won't stand in church and prophesy. No, no, no. A Catholic priest will call you aside and tell you that this is and this and this is what I've seen, and he will give you prayers. Go and pray. At that time, because those things were done in chambers, it didn't click that in the future, that is now, these things, fortune telling, palmistry, astrology, will become would be part of the worship service. Also part of the service. I yes, mean, there's we'll prophecy time. Yes, there's prophecy and, time. And for uh, uh, Reverend Obofo's church, people, that's the best part. Yes, prophecy time. Prophecy is the best time. Part. And yes, then they sir. play the drums, and then it's prophecy time. Everybody is seated. Everyone's and then happy. he's walking through the church, and everybody is trying to catch his eye. I, so and see. then he's walking and walking and said, "Ah, I want a friend of Patrick." <laughs> and then some somebody raises his hand. Patrick, <laughs> brah, brah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, who's maybe to say? Uh, uh, yeah. Double road, be what we fear, and as Otikanda, then the guy says yes, yes. Then and they start sing praise, they yeah, yeah. start clapping, yeah. and say, Ah, Patrick, last week Friday, me who said we're in New York, they say Saturday, I'm a buy, and then they People start go clapping. well, yes. and you are saying that that is what 137 is prohibiting, yes. Wow, that's very because interesting. At that time, as I said, at that time, even though 
Catholics, Methodists also engage, and that's one thing a lot of people don't know that Orthodox people think they Orthodox do that, but they were they doing do it that, in chambers. But they do it in chambers. Oh, I see. Because according to the philosophy of 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 the Catholic Church, everything must center on Christ. Ah, so you, you don't take anything away you don't take from anything the Christ. From Christ. Christ. So Christ all other things are done on the side. On the so side. you go and see some some in chambers yeah. somewhere. So it didn't click that publication in a journal or newspaper. It didn't click then. Because mm. they thought that even if a priest would tell a prophecy, it would be quiet. You will call him, you will call the person aside and say, Oh, I've seen this about you, therefore pray, the, the, do this thing. Go and give then money Nicodemus to this way. Then you could do most Yeah, they were doing go and give money. I, I've heard a few of Go and give money to the to lepers. The lepers, go and give money yeah. to the poor person. Yeah, that's what go they, to beggars and give them some money. That's what I've seen. That's what I've seen. That's what they used to do. That's private. In Orthodox churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's private. But now, the influence of others. So, this has the potential of discriminating against those faiths and beliefs, even charismatic churches. And people, when people see fortune telling, palmistry, astrology, their mind, they think, oh, it's just Hinduism. But you're also discriminating against the Hindus. Mm. So, it wow. is a discussion um, mm -hmm. we should have, particularly at, and also the influence on Article 21, which ensures freedom of religious beliefs. And you know, um, the uh, case of Klosag um, versus Attorney General, mm -hmm. when the court held that the restriction on the rights of individuals or of persons should only be done when two things are satisfied. When the enjoyment of the rights adversely affects everybody, and when the restriction is proportionate to the commensurate threats of the enjoyment of that right. Mm -hmm. If I am going for my prophecy by fortune telling, and it's not affecting everybody, why is it your problem that you have criminalized it and put it in section 137? That's interesting. Let's, let's wrap it up quickly. Section 137, yeah, we spent... Of this we, we, we this is all part of it. The editor, okay. they are, so they are even going to publish, okay. punish the editors and, 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 okay. and, 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 and come everything. Back to so, well, so what's your gut feeling? How do you see... What, so when, when, when does the processes continue? Um, we are not very sure yet, but right now, the police have, have issued a statement that other persons should come forward. And so I think the police would want to build the case first. But however, while they are building the case, she would remain in custody unless there is a repeat application. Has she found representation from, by lawyers? I am sure she has found representation. Mm. If, if it wasn't for the fact that um, I would have been happy to, to represent, represent her. her. <laughs> I see. Okay, viewers, I hope you enjoyed that session. It's, it's for purpose of education, you know, here on Good Evening Ghana. We are determined to bring you uh, the story uh, 22 minutes past the top of the hour. Uh, thank you very much, uh, April. Could you have some messages that we can look at uh, just before we take our short interlude with Mohamed Polo? And then we come to Galamse. Uh, that's our big story for today. We'll deal with that. And then we have the NDC story as well. If we're unable to do the NDC story, we'll push it until uh, Thursday, isn't it? Okay, right. Let me go to you for the text messages. Uh, I'll start with you. Hadja, you're sitting in the first chair. Okay, this is from Astis Ama. He said, dude in yellow will be an excellent lawyer. And Kuku Edu says, good evening, Paul. Nana Agrada never said she would double the money in this case. Let's not confuse her formal utterances, which she has charged which she has been charged already. In any case, she did give some money out to some members. The members have no case. Kwabna HR says, from this conversation, I can see Agrada will definitely win the case at court. Okay, also coming from Francis Agbadeka, Apostle Paul, you see the lecture you and the lawyer guy gave about Agbadeka's case? That is what some of us want to be watching and learning from, and not all this NPP, NDC politics, editorials. Anyway, I love your blue shirt on Kaki. Beautiful. Have a good evening. Also from Imano Kofiteria, Mr. Paul, per the Constitution and Criminal Law, this case against Agrada is dead on arrival in the eyes of the proceedings of the court of competent jurisdiction. The prosecutors will have a huge hurdle to get evidence to prosecute it. Interesting times ahead. We are all following this case with prudence. Also from Alexander Sifa, according to a victim, he said Agrada called 10 people to form one group and gave and give her thousand CDs each, and in return she will give them twenty thousand CDs to be shared amongst themselves. 
After that, she called 10 people to give her 800 CDs each and in 10 and in return she would give them 10,000 CDs to be shared amongst themselves. She went on and on and at a point she told them the money she collected from them is Kofi and Amma so they should go and sit down. Seriously, this is criminal. And then also from Wisdom Dasu, these things are in the Bible. Let the police deal with her and they must equally deal with those stealing our money and destroying our water bodies and forests in the name of gold search. Also, coming from Ama Benpoma, Agrada never mentioned doubling money for church members. In her video preceding the all night, she only said people should come for the service and that she would give out monies, which indeed there is a video showing her benevolence. Also, coming from Bra Kweku, you should know that she showed Ghana, um, she showed Ghana three billion publicly that she would that she was going to dash it to her church members. She even said that if you need money for rent, business, food, etc., you shouldn't miss the church on that day. Bra Kweku from Kaswa Akwili. Coming from Robert Jacobs, Paul Paul is at it again with his dynamic, intelligent young men and ladies dedicated of exposing intelligent opinions when it comes to issues. Watching the show as usual from Chicago, Illinois, USA this afternoon. And lastly from Albert Coleman. Nana Agrada has successfully and tragically conquered the traditional and Christian religions. Can she conquer Islam and other religions too? Let's see what happens. A very good evening, Ghana, to all her cherished victims. It's a waste of your efforts. The target group need to hear it in our local languages. And Temkrang Isaac says, Agrada, aka Mama G, Mafia Woman. Uh, good news, Welgo says, the law which says no guilty beyond the battle of doubt. Agrada will win them. Uh, and Ayuma Richard says, Monsieur le Président, vous me faites tomber amoureux du français. Je tout retourner à Tamasco pour continuer mon français. I think he is talking about going back to school to continue studying French. Uh, Wanlanyo says, this time, Agada cannot bribe her way out as usual. She should have been serving a jail term for what she did as sold to him for Kaswa teenagers to kill a boy for money rituals. Thank God that her cup is full to face the full prosecution to deter the rest of the fake gospel proclaimers. And Kwabena Kosovo says, excellent diablery a two point de vue, Monsieur le Président, merci. Uh, speaking to the President. And Gastiman says, I don't simply sympathize with any of the victims a bit, but the truth must be told. We cannot continue to allow people like Agrada to take advantage of the innocent ones, no matter what the law says. And this is from Tenkran Isaac. He says, how could a convert or a novice last year metamorphose to be a reverend today? A fully grown parent go to her for knowledge or direction. How could that be possible? Do you know the number of years Simon Peter became an apostle of Jesus Christ from being a disciple? I'm very disappointed in some Ghanaians and those who ordained her as a minister of the gospel, a group of clerics not from Ghana but from a different country. I think it's time the Christian council should sit upright in order to put up measures into place so that no other person from nowhere comes to exchange money for human beings. And uh, Ali Umar says from the University of Education, Winneba, Paul, nowadays we have to be very vigilant about these so-called men or women of God. In Ghana, we have two main religions, and it's only Christian religion that we have these fake Osofos who scam innocent people, because I've never heard or seen it in Islamic religion. And Paul, over to you. Uh, do you speak French, Mikael? Oui, oui. Je parle pas de français, s'il vous plaît. Et pas de français. Ah, tu parles français un peu, un peu? Euh, sûrement, un peu sûrement. Alors, beaucoup, beaucoup. <laughs> no. D'accord, d'accord, d'accord. Ah. Uh, mesdames et messieurs, uh, continuing Good Evening Ghana, and uh, uh, our producers are rearranging our program, so we might have to push the one to me uh, conversation later. We'll talk about the NDC contest, and then I'll show you pictures of four gentlemen in the MPP. That's, the, that's uh, how we will uh, project the one to me story for next week, because he told me something about four gentlemen himself, 
President Akufuado, uh, Alhaji Muhammad Baumia, and Kennedy Japan. Kennedy uh, uh, Wuntumi told me something about, about these four men, including himself, on the phone. I'll show you their photographs and tell you what he said. Now, though, uh, let's go to uh, a video. You know that the, uh, we, we are political, so we like political videos. The MPP contest is, is gaining steam, isn't it? And um, the, the vice president celebrated his 69th birthday uh, a week ago or so. Uh, I had occasion to go and uh, say hello to him in the evening of his birthday. He looks quite hill and hearty. I saw him. He's full of energy, al Haji Muhammad Baumia. And uh, the Greater Accra Regional Minister, the indefatigable Henry Kwati, was at uh, Dr. Baumia's Dr. home. Uh, during the, the, the celebration of Dr. Baumia's birthday. And uh, it's only Harry Corte who got Dr. Baumia to do the Buga dance. Uh, but Harry Corte also made certain pronouncements that put him clearly into the Baumia camp. So the Alan Martin people are not going to be very happy with him. But it was a beautiful ceremony. This is what has happened. This is what happened. And I believe there's a UTV video. Credit to them. This is Henry Corte pronouncing Dr. Baumia, uh, at, by the grace of God, as potential president of Ghana in the future. This is what he said. Yes, you go learn something. Come with me for me and let's hurry. All this very short. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, all right, they didn't get to you the Henry Corte speech. There was, a, there was a speech from Henry Corte attached to it, and uh, he made those pronouncements. We can show you that speech later on. Uh, the speech is in. Uh, are they going to show it again? or? Uh, okay, let's, let's see it. Mr. Vice President, not to say much, but we are here, apart from joining you to celebrate your birthday, to also assure you that we are with you at dawn, morning, afternoon, evening. And we are ready to surgeon with you to the final destination, inshallah. The Vice President, once again, I repeat, my MMDCs and I assure you that we are surgeoning with you to the final destination. And by the grace of God, we shall get to the land of Canaan. I won't say much, but I pray that whatever projects or the project ahead of us, will be successful those here and those who are not here we pray that the good lord will begin to turn the hearts and minds of people in this country to join in this project and by the grace of god today is seventh i count and i count and i count and i count that inshallah one of the seven that will come in 2025 by the grace of god we will be at the Independence Square, inshallah. Oh, you didn't hear me, somebody. I said by the 7th January 2025, inshallah, His Excellency, not the Vice President, incoming President of the Republic of Ghana, will be at the Independence Square. To this end, I say thank you all, and we wish the Vice President the strength that he needs in these difficult times to be able to go about his duties. Mr. Excellency, I thank you very much. God bless you. But we Okay, welcome to the show. We have uh, the next seven minutes to talk about sports and then we get back onto politics because we don't want to keep Mohamed Polo here. He's going to do a very kind gesture to us. Uh, Mohamed Polo, welcome uh, to the show. It's a pleasure. Uh, I I'll come to you on, on the details and, and collect the book and ask you a few questions now that you are here. This week we have a big football interview coming up later. I won't tell you who, uh, but I think it will come on Thursday. There will be a big football interview here uh, on Good Evening Ghana. Last week, I promise you're going to have a big uh, music interview. We did. This week, there's a big football interview coming up. Okay. Uh, our football correspondent and uh, Ibrahim Zebrila is here with us. Uh, what's the problem with Alaji Grusa and uh, Makado. Makado? What's going on? So, so Alaji Grusa in recent times have been in the media criticizing and asking for the removal of the chairman of the Black Stars Committee mem and man member. The that's Black Stars Committee, that's Makado, that's the deputy, vice president uh, uh, of the GFA. And his reason is that Makado has not been around 
to organize meeting again um, um, between the management members in order to prepare for the World Cup and that Mercado has been traveling here and there and has not really managed to organize meetings amongst them. So he's asking for Mercado to be removed because he says Mercado is not proving that he's capable of doing the work. And Mercado also came back and he was asked and he really didn't respond to Alaide Gusa. He was really asked about the questions about Otoado, whether he should be replaced by someone like Chris Hilton who looking, has more time. Who has more time. And he said he does not want to listen to those things. He thinks um, um, he thinks Otoado has taken responsibility for not performing much. And so he, he, he sees that if Otoado gets much time, he'll be able to do well in the World Cup. So I saw a Facebook a post by Gary Al Smith last week. He repeated the same line seven times. I don't know why I saw it. He said, the Black Stars coach is not a part-time job. The Black Stars coach is not a part-time job. He said that six times in one post with a Ghana flag at the end. Yeah. And then I, I started asking sports reporters and they said it's, it's a big concern, especially based on what happened in the game against Brazil and the game against Nicaragua. It's, it's a big concern. It seemed like the Black Stars needed a, a coach with a lot of time focusing on the Black Stars 24-7 for this two and a half months yeah, before it's true, we get but, into the World Cup. It's, it's not two and a half months, one month. Yeah, it's just one month. Just, just a little But is, is, is any country ready, looking at what you've seen around? Uh, yes. It's a very awkward November yes. World Cup, isn't yes, it? Yes. So and, I, I can't and looking at the fact that the, the, the teams will have to release their players by 12th November, and the tournament will be starting 20th November. It will mean teams will really get the full comp will really have about eight days to get the full complement of their teams to prepare for for the World Unlike Cup. the regular June World Cup, where, yes, the where you ends have about a month to prepare. Yeah, you have about a month to a prepare. Month for to the prepare. World Cup. And this time, you have a very short period to prepare. And the issue about Otoado, you know, this many people didn't raise this concern after he qualified against Nigeria. Many people were saying that he should the be euphoria. given the Yes. And even the president called him and said we're going to take him away from Dortmund and bring him. But now that the results are not going well, especially in the friendly games, you realize that these concerns have started rising. But if you look at the history of Black Stars, whenever they are going to the World Cup and they are pre-friendly games that they play proud to the World Cup, they don't do much well. So friendly matches ahead of World Cups really don't determine how the Black Stars perform in the World Cup. It doesn't, because even in the uh, Cameroon's uh, 1990 super performance, uh, that that lit all of Africa. The the, the World Cup friendlies ahead of the tournament was really yes. bad. Yes. They were beating 6-1, 6-2, and then they came in the opening game against Diego Maradona, and they won 1-0. So with nine men, actually, because they got two red cards that day. So should we keep the faith? Yes, I think the Otoado also not being available is being made up because, you know, it's not, it's not only Otoado. We also have Didi Dramani, who is normally based here. And we have Chris Hilton and also George Watson, who normally do scouting in England, and a lot. So it, it, it's really. But, but Chris Hilton is free. Chris Hilton is free, isn't he? Yeah, Chris but he's Hilton still involved free. in the team. So if there's any advice, I'm sure he gives it to Otoado. If there's any advice, he gives it to Otoado. So I don't see much difference. Unless because Otoado is the final decision maker, he determines which advice he takes and which he does not take. So that's mm. really the main difference. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Sure. And, uh, we'll pick. Are, are we expecting any more players to convert before the World Cup? No, at the moment, we are not. So we don't have, we won't, have, we won't get Hans Hansen Odoi? It's not likely we'll get Hansen Odoi. It's not very likely. So what we, what we have now is what we will get? Yes. Then if we we'll have anything, we'll have new players who are joining because Kamal Sowa at the moment is doing very well in the Champions League with Club Boot and a lot of people are calling for him to be added to the team. So probably we'll have new But Afane Jan is in. Afane Jan is likely to is likely. Mohamed Kudus is Mohamed in. Mohamed Kudus, of course. Naki Williams, Williams is in. Naki Williams, yes. The Ayu brothers are in. Ayu brothers are in. The defender, the one who had a nightmare, the four goals at the weekend, Salisu. Salisu, Mohamed Salisu, of course. He started well, didn't he? I mean, the first 25 minutes of the game, I was watching just him and uh, his movement, yeah. awareness about uh, Haaland was, was really good. His yeah, awareness you, of the guy was, was really good. If you watch his individual performance, I watched that. that. He did very the first 25 well. minutes but you know, was def fantastic. Defending is a collective. Absolutely. It's, it's a yes, collective it is, yeah. work, so he can't do it. But he know, managed to shut very... Haaland out until, what, the fourth goal? Yes. Which yes, was yes. great. Manchester United were not able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think he's a great defender. He's, he's I don't know how he would have done against Mohamed Polo back in the day. Uh, but one of the dribbles I remember Polo do at the Accra Sports Stadium, which was so funny. It, uh, I think it was a Has Kotoko game. And because of, the, uh, of Polo's uh, situation, Kotoko had planned their game around Mohamed Polo. So they had a midfielder, offense, a defensive midfielder. I don't know whether Michael Osei is a defensive or an offensive midfielder, if you've watched him. Michael Osei. Kotoko, Kotoko, who's now yeah. a coach. Yes, yes, yes. I watched him at uh, I don't know whether he's a number eight. So, but he can also play defense. So he was sort of uh, on Polo. And, uh, and so the battle that they were watching was Michael Osei. Michael Osei is, is a midfielder, forward line. 
he was marking Polo. We were very confused. Kotoko had Fimpo Manso and uh, Ampia in the team, and uh, they wanted Michael Osei to the midfielder to mark Mohamed Polo. They even had Stanley Abura. Okay, but we thought a, a, a contest between Polo and Abura would be too lopsided. Polo is going to dribble him too much. <laughs> so, so we were happy that didn't happen. Then on one of the, the, the during the game, my closet was he was quite doing quite well. I think. I think even Polo said after the game that the guy was impressive. So the guy was coming to Polo. Polo had the ball there. The guy was looking at him. Polo left the ball, ran away from the ball, and my closet followed him. So the ball was there. <laughs> left the ball. Yes, <laughs> because he didn't know Polo had left the ball. So Polo, in his dribbling, he had the ball there, he just ran. And then Michael Osei followed. <laughs> and then the whole stadium was, hey, what's going on here, yeah, you know? But that is the magic of Mohamed Polo. Absolute titan, absolute uh, golden feet. Uh, Mohamed, thank you very much. Asamwajan is preparing to uh, keep fit and join the Black Stars. Is it a good idea? It's, it's very difficult to say. Uh -huh. But uh, with the experience of uh, Asamojan, the only thing we need is, uh, is fitness. He says but he can get it. What? So if he, uh, if he if, gets the if, fitness, if, 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 if you he, were the coach of the Black Stars, would you put him in? Why, why not? Because, because of what he has done. But then it's very important for him to, to set everybody free. By doing what? By playing some trial matches for us so we can see, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we can see, yeah, yeah, and that, that will relieve everybody. Do you think the Black Stars should put him in one of their trial matches? Exactly, they should. They should, because it's experience we don't buy. But they say he doesn't have a good relationship with the Dayu. Are you? What, what has that got to do with? When that? you were playing, did it, was there difficulties like that in the Black Stars camp? Polo versus Razak, or Poko Afriye versus George Alhassan? No, was there that, something like that in the yeah, Black Stars? That, no, what, what, I mean, that is, you know, from the, the fans. Oh, it's from the fans? It's from the fans. Internally, not much. Internally, when we come, especially Blaster, we play together. Yeah. And the good thing about uh, our time is that we play for each other. It doesn't matter who, who, who scores. But the important thing is uh, how, what you give. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that is uh, what happens. Because mm -hmm. I remember, you know, uh, the golden uh, uh, goal. goal that Razab. That, that gave him a, yeah, the, big the, name. the big name. We created the goal. Yes. You know I'm always a, a creating. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. created the goal and he scored. So he got the, the, Why the, was the, that goal so spectacular? Why was it so significant? Did he scored from outside the box? Yeah, I don't, I, I can't remember. I think it was a game against Tunisia, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Tunisia. The semi-final. Exactly. But the tournament was said that if Ghana didn't win, Tunisia were going to win. And yeah. we were drawn in semi-final. Exactly. So it was thought that whoever wins this semi-final yeah. has it's a good high good. chance of winning the tournament. Really, yeah. So it was a tough game, wasn't it? Very. And we won, what, 2-0? Yeah, it was 2-1. Uh, okay, so they scored. Yes, Tunisia got they the scored. So Razak's was the winning goal. The two goals we scored was with the, 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 the Uganda. And that was Uganda in the that final. Was the That's two nil. Yes. Poker three is two yes. goals. And I created all the goals. Oh, the, 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 the final two goals from yes. Poker three. Opoku. Which role did you play in the team? Was it the normal 11, which would be left side of offensive midfield that we know? Or were you a 10? Left, left side, 11. The 11. But offensive. The offensive I'm, 11 I'm, is very I'm offensive. Always, I'm always... Uh, you know, always had 11. Yes, always 11. No, but when but I watched I you in your second coming, you were in the middle. So, so in your second coming... Uh, the team was Nana Bain uh, in goal, Osmanu Saki, right, Osmanu Idi, left, uh, Joe Addo and Ismanol Ama in the middle, Sola Ayu, Abedi's brother at mm. six, mm. Yao Preko at seven, mm. and then you have Abladi Kuma at eight, yeah. Olabode at nine, mm -hmm. Samukwe at ten, Polo at eleven. I still remember yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> that was this, this that, is another that, that this was, is another set you know that was another team that yeah was, it's another that was set a great, they it's won the league set. i think the yeah, 1990 it's another set. yeah sorry 1990 viewers when i say 19 i'm old yeah, so please yeah. forgive me it was i'm talking about 1990 that's 30 years ago isn't it yeah so that that was a hard team so that one you were 11. yeah in those days were we doing 442 443 yeah we were yeah why didn't we call it like that Commentators yeah. never said that. Nyanum Thompson will say that. And so, Asante Kotoko line up, uh, Joker, and uh, Haruna Yusuf, Kusi Apia, yeah. and uh, Adai Chencha Hine, Papako, John Bannerman, Alberta Sase, Opoku Efri, uh, Kofi Bedu, Francis Kumi. That's what they say. They don't tell us, like yeah, today, they, they tell us they are lining up in the 443. Exa exactly. How were hearts lining up in the 90s, your second coming? 443? 422? 442? You know, because of the quality of the players, 
everybody knows and the, the formations you know do happen with the movement of uh, the ball That's, you know michael otj the sports guy who is now doing other things for TV has always made that point that all these 4 4 2 that yeah, we yes. talk about it's is the nothing. movement, it's the movement, it's the of, the movement of the ball it's that the determines what we are doing and the players' movement and this is the, the quality of the players. will say, Oh, they've now moved from 4 4 2 to 4 4 3. It's, and exactly. it's sort of battery, exactly. it's the movement, that is, it's, the it's movement. all about the movement. movement of the this 4 4 2 thing, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't work, it doesn't work. Is anything, it's the movement of the ball and the telepathy, the understanding of you know the players and what they want to do. Because we have defensive players, yeah. which everybody knows. We know those in the middle and those who are attacking. And anybody, seven can attack, but he's a midfield player. The, this is they call them wingers. Yes. Seven, but eleven, eight, six. Those that eight, we used six. to call strikers are called wingers. Mohamed yes. Salah exactly. is called winger. Yes. Sadio Mane uh -huh. is called winger. Exactly. Yeah, but, but he comes and, and, and he strikes. Yeah. It depends but on the quality. But in your time, we didn't have that. We no. call them strikers. We didn't call them wingers. Yes. yes. So for Labode Williams, yeah. who was your, or Peter Lamte, yeah. the further back in the 70s, yeah. he's an authentic striker. So yes. the only strikers we knew were the arrowhead. Yes. You're exactly. not an arrowhead, you're not a striker. Exactly. But now, we have strikers who strike from the right. From the wings, yes. yes. That's, that's interesting. Yes. Is it a development of the game? A development of the game. Mm. And the quality of players that, that are coming. Mm. And with the coaches... You know, uh, fast. So, so, so Mohamed, you were a winger. Yeah. Typical winger. Typical. Winger. Yeah, but you scored some goals as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But when you picked the ball, your first instinct was to create. Yes. Not to score yourself. Yes. So in what circumstances did you decide to score? You know, it, it, it depends on the, the, the situation I found myself mm -hmm. and the, 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 the distance. Between you and the goal. Between me and the goal. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is where I decide what to do. Were you doing in your time interpositional changes? I didn't see a lot no. of that. No. So when you start as Polo at 11, yes. you start at 11 and at 11. Yes, but. Your I, prayer doesn't cross over and you go. It doesn't cross, but I move. No, I'm, but because but you were so great, they gave you free roll. Yes, I move. You know when you made mistakes with the ball in your it, second it, coming at the stadium, uh, we, we uh, couldn't talk. Yes, you could. You can't <laughs> talk. <laughs> the whole Accra Sports Stadium and friends of mine that I used to go to the stadium with will, will say that they will, they will remember this. I mean, sometimes they say, oh, it's Polo, it's Polo. Don't say <laughs> Polo doesn't control but, the ball. It goes over to throw Because in. I don't normally make mistakes. No, it so, doesn't happen yes, often. Yes. So when the small one, they say, it's yes, Polo, it's yes, Polo. Keep yes, quiet, keep quiet. Yes. But if another person does that thing, if Isaac Alamu does it, you see what they do to him. But if it's Polo, say it's Polo. Yeah. Polo don't say anything. Yeah. So, so you stayed on the left throughout. Yeah. Is it better that the way they do it today? Have the defense become stronger? You know, what gives me advantage is that because my, my, the one who tackles me is number two. Yes, correct. All the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And because I'm giving the free rule, I move and he cannot follow me. Ah, so when you leave the 11 position, yes, I you get are gone to 8. He can't yes, come. He can't come. So you are free. Otherwise, the place will be yes, vacant. Yes. yes. So you pick the ball, then now yes. you go after him. Exactly. Dribble him and cross. That is the problem. Ah. So they realize, you know, some coaches also realize that, no, this guy, we have to, you know... Oh, I guess that's what yes, Michael Osei was asked to do exactly. in Michael the game Osei, I'm talking about. And then Stay the, with Polo. Yes, and then uh, another one. What man is marking, it? yes. Yes, Some man marking. specialization. And then yeah. one, another one to... Uh, 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 what is the name? The president. Safo Jemfi. Safo Jemfi. Yes, yes. He also did some work he on you. He also did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, on, even on that day, after, after the final whistle halftime, he was, he was following me. Even at half time, he was following. He was, following he was told to follow Polo. Yes, so yes follow Polo. Everybody. I shouldn't control oh, because the coach saw that Polo moves. Yes, uh, and when I get the ball, hmm. something must happen. Must happen. That, that one, I, I can yes. testify to that. So that is why you know they have to, you know, it's, it's police. They hmm. police me. Yes, yeah, that, that's the way they use That's the way they use So for those, for young people like this, they think the football polo played, yeah. it's too slow, it's not, you know, it's not like, and then it's the other day... It's the camera. They, they are, but yeah, you said it's that, you said that. Then Kwabene Japan called yeah, me and agreed with camera. you. It's but their, their bubble was burst when Kwabene Japan sat in your chair and told me that uh, Kuku Datsun, Kuku Dazi, yeah. is better than Rio Ferdinand. I, mm. I, I, could, I could not wrap my head yeah. around. Look, I watch Rio Ferdinand. Uh, Kuku Dazi, is he really better than Rio Ferdinand? It's a quality. The quality of the player. The quality of the player. But did they have the fitness that the, the boys have today? You know. Did you guys have that fitness? Do you have the diet, the food, the environment all to these make you strong? Like all the these things are not there. They were not there then. No, no, they are not there. Yeah, so you were but, not as fit as yeah, they are today. No, but what we do with the ball, 
Today's, yeah, but these days, without today's, the fitness, play, yeah. without the fitness, what you do with the ball doesn't matter. No, but but that, that is the system. The system of change. Mm. The system of change, in a way that they don't even rely on quality. But yeah, no, no, it's not about quality. No, it's about quick movement of the yes, ball. Yes, quick movement of the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. But if you have a quality, you will see the difference. Yeah, but we were in Ghana when we were we were uh, 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 we didn't think much of a player like uh, Anthony Eboa. He went to Germany, came back, mm. and the guy was was different yeah. from what we saw at Okoro United yeah. because the Europeans yes. worked on him. Yes, worked on him. Yeah, because yes. they believe yes. in height, yes. size, yeah. and all that. Exactly. Yes. So, so is that not is that not what is leading the game these days? Yeah, but the important thing is that you must understand what to do with the ball. Mm. And as for as for as for you had a lot as of for time. Fit, as for fitness, you know, you can get fitness. Yeah, but you had a lot of time on the but ball. The today, you won't get that time on the ball. Will you be able to do it today? Yes, today, once the ball comes, the defender is with you. No. You had a lot of time on it's the ball. Even, it's even easier today. Well, I, yes, because you know, uh, the good players are protected today. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. Unlike your time. Unlike yeah, our they, time. Yeah, they were kicking you They were kicking bad. you everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today, I can do anything I want to do. With yeah, you are protected. You, yes. you earn a lot of penalties. All yes. those penalties you yes. didn't get. I will score goals. A lot of them create goals. Because today... But we have not been able to replicate your talent because the football philosophy has changed. Yes. So we are not looking for polos anymore. We are looking yeah. for height, yeah. size, yeah. agility, mm. potential. Mm. That's what European coaches are looking for. Yes. Potential. But, and, they, and, and they are killing our football. Are they killing our football? Yeah, they, are, they are. But we are conforming to their game. Yes, because we want money. Yes, we, but we money, need money. Yes, we need money. But when you are quality, you see, when, when our players go, they change them. Oh, they change all of them. They Initially, all of we were worried, but they change all of they them. They change all of Everybody. them. But what we have to Michael do... Michael Essien was like a 10. Yes. He became a 6. Yeah. He even plays centre-back. He plays centre-back yes. sometimes. Michael Essien number was two. number 10. He plays number 2. No, yeah, he plays number, number 2. Yeah. So that, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is the fact. But One day, they asked somebody play to play 7. Gothals, the coach called Gothals. He has somebody ready to play in the number seven role. It will give him a problem. Yeah, because the team, the the the, the, the Marseille team had Chris Waddle yeah. from England. He has yeah. uh, Jean Pierre Papin. And you have and, to manage. And, and he wanted a Betty play in the team as well. Yes. Abedi is number ten. Chris Waddle is ten. Waddle was on top of his game. English mm. superstar. You know, we think Abedi is better than Waddle, yeah. yes, by yeah. far. Yeah. Waddle is taller, they said, yeah. much taller. So they said, Abedi, you are so good, you have to be in the team. Can yeah. you play number seven? Mm -hmm. He had never had it before. <laughs> but he played number seven. Yeah. Yeah, on the right. Yeah, so you have to manage. Mm. So but if you, have, if you have the quality, but you but can but play in a position. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi have the quality. Yeah. Uh, maybe not to your level, but they do have the quality. Mm. But they also have the fitness, yeah. the speed, the power. They have yeah. it. They can compete. You know I have the speed. No, your speed. Ronaldo has more speed. I have the speed with the ball. No, but no, Ronaldo has more speed, Polo. No, Ronaldo, you know, it's, it's, uh, Ronaldo doesn't you, you hold the ball. You are closer to Messi. Yes. Yeah, you are closer I'm closer to Messi. To Messi. Yeah, yeah, closer. Because I hold yeah. on to the ball. I mean, and one I time dribble. somebody said that Polo yes. is better than Messi, and it he, became yes. a big argument in this league. Exactly. Huh? And we were fighting, but yeah. Yeah, they were insisting that Ex Polo is, exactly. Better than, exactly. is better than Messi. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so you are not a Ronaldo type. You are more like Messi. Yeah, I'm more but like Messi has more power than you used to show. Yeah, but Messi shows a lot of power. I have strength on the ball. Just like what uh, 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 Messi does. To protect the ball. I protect the ball. And you can turn. I turn and I do different things with the ball. And your passing you know, was spectacular. Very. Very. Mm -hmm. But with, with Messi, is, is one is dribbling, is going. Yeah. Sure I can so. come and turn. I'm turning, you know, if, if players, I, I'm watching. You know, Polo, you could turn uh, and the whole Accra Sports Stadium turns. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and all of us, our head is going this way, and then we all shift like that. That is the and difference. That one is day the I was difference. at the stadium when Derek Boateng did that. Yeah. And they said, this is what Polo used to do yeah. plenty of times in the yeah. game. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know what I've experienced. That I, the guy takes the ball in a direction that nobody in the stadium is expecting. Yeah. So we all turn yeah. and follow. That yeah. was, that was, you, you miss your playing days, don't you? Yeah, I do. But I why do. don't you want to become a coach and a great one? You, you I, did a bit of I coaching. Am, I am a coach. Yeah, yeah. so coach I am a coach. You coach Olympics as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I coach Haas in Olympics. So what are you doing now? Do you want to join the Black Stars? Haas is, yeah. Haas is in need of a coach at the moment. Yeah. Haas is the coach. They've no, what their I coach. intend doing is, is, you know, to introduce the, the Ghana brand of football. The Ghana brand of football to the world. To the world. Mm. To, to, because that is, the, the, that is the football that we played. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, today's uh, current ones, 
they don't know. But the Brazilians yes. have changed their football to be able to yeah. win the World Cup. Look at what look at look, look at what they are doing now. Yeah, but it's not as nice as Socrates and uh, exactly. the one we it's used to changing. watch. It's changing. But that time they were not winning the World yes. Cup. It's they changing. They were doing well, but they were not winning. Now yes. they are winning. It's changing. And they are, they have a, a player like Fred. Yes. Will never find his way in the Socrates team. Mm -hmm. Totally out. Yes. You know, that team was skilled from goalkeeper to yeah. the end. Everybody yeah. was yeah. skillful. Junior. Mm. And uh, and if you look at Pele's 1971 team, mm. Tostal, Rivellino, Pele. Also it was skill. Yeah. Yeah. But now Brazil has changed. Yes. Even Brazil. So we. we but we, even we, the skills are there. And now they have. Look at players, the, Brazil look. now has players in the 11 who are not skillful. Mm. They, they are running. Yeah. Yeah, they have that. They didn't used to have that at all. Yeah. But now, now they have that. Yeah. Like Fred, he finds yeah. his way in the Brazilian national team. Yes, but well, how, however, when he holds on to the ball, he knows what to do with it. Yeah, yeah, he does knows what to do with the ball. Yeah. He knows how to move with the yeah, ball. Yeah, that, that that is that is the important thing. So we do, you don't go away with the, you know the, the, your style of your brand of football. It should be there. Whoever wants to add something to it, you, know, you are there with it, mm. and it it even it gives you that leverage. To do whatever you want to, to do. do. All right, let me take the book from you now. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Uh, so we will we will support yeah. all yeah. the work that you do. Yeah. Uh, we should do a gala sometime, and then uh, the magnificent story of the dribbling magician is written by Neem Odai Anida Solai. Uh, is that one of your children? <laughs> no, it's the other. Uh, okay. He wrote it. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much, Polo. It's a pleasure. Uh, it's a I, I, do you have a ticket to go and watch the World Cup? Do you want to go and watch the World Cup? No, I'm, I've been given the, 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 the opportunity to go. Okay, great. Excellent. But, Excellent. But the, the important thing about this book mm -hmm. is uh, the introduction of... Uh, I'll read it aloud to viewers on Thursday. The, 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 the Ghana brand of football. The Ghana brand so of football. So we need the, that That's support need. To, to, be, to be able to... Maybe, you know, maybe the GFA it. should give you a job as a Colts organizer, Colts aggregator, so that you can look at the Colts football for us. They pay you a lot of money, go all over the country and scout. Because you will make a great scout. That is what, I'm, well, that is what I want to do personally. We, will have, we have to tell the GFA. We, we will make a great scout. So we send you, you to you, Eastern you, Region. You know, you know, you know, you know, Nana mm -hmm. himself. I was surprised. This uh, 2017 uh, uh, African uh, mm -hmm. Award, yeah, when we mm -hmm. we, we staged it in uh, in Accra here, yeah, you know, he came there. The president. The president. Mm -hmm. He came there, and we were all there. Unfortunately, we thought they were going to introduce us because it was it it, it is in our country. You know, these youngsters don't know uh, the, the, yeah. the drug boys, the, the monies, the... the, 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 the they, they don't know us. And we went there, and, and as if we were not there. We we're sitting there. Waiting. What is happening? The, every, the, everything was set. They did everything. It was only Ibrahim Sunday who was, you know... Acknowledged. Uh, yeah, acknowledged. And then the last one was that, that the, 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 because he says... It's his country that uh, the, 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 the award is taking place. They have to yeah. award him. They award Nana. And when Nana took the, the, the award. award, he said this award doesn't belong to him. It belongs to those who have sacrificed for Ghana football. And he started mentioning names. Mohamed Polo. Oh, wow. I said, say, thank you. No, nobody. <laughs> he didn't know I was there. Oh, he didn't know you were there? No. Oh wow! He didn't. So I want to meet him. Okay. We, we, I we, want we, to we, meet we, him. Who can arrange that? I, I have to meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very important. Yeah. No, but what you've done for Ghana football cannot be overestimated. We, everybody, I mean, this, this, everybody this, knows. This, this, I mean, also, Brian, you never saw Polo play apart from the videos. No, so. no. This is, this oh, is really? really? <laughs> this is yeah. So you haven't seen yeah. the queues at Accra Stadium at nine o'clock? No. People queuing that they want to go. I heard, Polo. I heard about the miracle of Elwak. Oh, that's my. I didn't even see that. I was, I was much younger. We, we heard. We heard about. But even, when he came in the second even, coming, we even, had a great even opportunity. Even that was even half it. Uh, uh, the, now, those who saw him in the 70s, yeah, I heard that story that you were not very fit on that day. Not very fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. 78. So you didn't start the game? Yeah. The miracle of ours. Did yeah. you start? Did no. you start the game? I started. You started the game? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I started. It was with Alali. Mm -hmm. You know, we beat Alali before. Before the. This before, is Guinea. No. This, miracle of ours was against who? Hafia? Uh, Zambia. Oh, Zambia. Okay, okay. Mulera okay. Wanderers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They beat us 5 2 over there. Yeah. So we needed three goals. 
and they scored one already. No, 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 over there. Over five there was 5 2. So five we needed 3 0 to nil. go through on our way go rule. And it was after 15 minutes to full time that all these goals came. Mm. All the three. All the three. 15 minutes to the end. Yes. And that is the magic. Okay, we'll it's read the pleasure. book. Thank you very much, Mohamed Polo. You, okay, so you. our production has changed a lot. I hope you enjoyed the conversation with Polo. Uh, we'll do the politics, uh, a lot more of that on Thursday. But we have, uh, I need to show you something. Sorry, Mr. Charles BCU. We will speak to him on Thursday. We were not able to speak to him. Uh, he's all the way in the United States. He's very eager to talk to us about this special prosecutor matter. We'll do that on Thursday. Uh, but uh, do we, have, we still have a break to take. Um, Okay, uh, let me go to the... Okay, I'm, I'm being told time is up. I was going to show you something. I'm being told time is up. Do you have messages that we can wrap up with? Uh, let's take two each, please. Uh, yes. Okay, Hadia. so from... Yes, so this is from Victor. He says, Paul, the law exists to protect the weak, vulnerable, and the ignorant. It will be unfair and unjust if Nana Agrada is not prosecuted. It looks like the only industry, industry thriving under the harsh economic circumstances in Ghana are the false prophetic churches. Osai Opoku says, Polo was fantastic. I remember the term Taku Polo and leave Rasag. Pelo Pelo says, Paul, please ask him about Thomas Hammond. First in the air, he was also a very good defender during their time. Okay, also from Anawini Albert. Paul, what makes you this fantastic personality? Your programs are very difficult to miss. I learn a lot from you. God bless you. And also from Michael Mish, I know a prophet at Santo who also deceives people and demands for money to double it. And also from Philip Edo Amadonu. President Anado was praised by the French radio RFI for, by his French speech, for his French speech. The journalist said, we are impressed with the impeccable French speech of an Anglophone president, Nana Ekufuado. Coming from Matambri Desmond. Good evening, Paul. You are the best journalist so far in the country. Always informing and educating your viewers. In fact, your show is always research-based. Keep up the good works that you are doing for Mother Ghana. Coming from, all right. um, I have to take it again, from Atambury Desmond. Good evening, Paul. You are the best journalist so far in the country. Always informing and educating your viewers. In fact, your show is always research-based. Keep up the good works that you are doing for Mother Ghana. Watching live from Bongofio and also from Samuel Fosuba. Good evening, Paul and your disciples. Please help me use your platform to congratulate His Excellency Nana Ekofut Ado. Um, sorry, I have to take it again. Um, good evening, Paul and your disciples. Please help me use your platform to congratulate His Excellency Nana Ado Dankwa Ekofuado, a chairman PSC Bakope, for making our chairman in Ghana proud in the whole world. Thank you, Nana, and God bless you. Obia Nyan Kope. Uh, is a tree okay? And then from Kobe Michaels, always hear why we are waiting behind you, Uncle Paul. Philip Wright is also saying Paul always doing the Lord's work. And finally from Fabian Apia, I like your shirt, Mr. Host. And as Clinton, great show. Uh, Prayko says, uh, Prayko from the Ghana Library Authority. Polo should bring copies of his book to the Library Authority for purchase to stock our shelves for the reading public. And uh, Boare Francis says, never knew Paul is a good sports presenter like that. Keep it up. And uh, Eric Nightingale says, hey, Paul, Polo is bragging. He was nowhere near Messi. Polo was a dribbler and passer of the ball and nothing else. And lastly, Latif Bilal says, open debates. Golden Boy Razak versus Mohamed Polo. Who is better? Okay, so um, we, we will leave it here. We have so much we didn't deal with. Uh, we have a big football conversation uh, this week. It's coming up on Thursday. A very big one. You can't imagine. It's very, very big. Football conversation. Really big. <laughs> so stay tuned for that on Thursday. Along with uh, the, the story I wanted to do about the National uh, Democratic Congress. And then um, and the Chairman Won to Me story. He begins, Chairman Won to Me begins his story with four important people in the MPP and the reason why all of this is happening. That's for Thursday. You can't miss that. Uh, have a good week. Tomorrow is Wednesday, midweek. Uh, if you drink, <laughs> don't drive. Don't drink on Wednesday if you can. Uh, just drink uh, orange juice or water or Diet Coke. If you drink regular Coke, Cristiano Ronaldo will be upset with you. So you just drink Diet Coke, okay, like me. All right. Uh, um, thank you very much. Tomorrow is somebody's birthday, isn't it? 
Ah, yeah, and Abi is birthday tomorrow. Okay, we might just might have a cake in the studio tomorrow. Okay, viewers, it's a pleasure to bring you the program. Sorry we started so late. We we're not able to accomplish everything we wanted to do, but we will bring it back to you on Thursday. Uh, you know, every time we bring it back for the last 20 years. Good night. Yes. Yes. Yes.